just uh, finishing up a couple drafts here on the Black and Yellow Dog app. Going to push the plane, Ryan Jeffers and Andy Ibanez. Lefty killers, no name lefty killers hitting at the top of the lineup. Love to see it. That Nothing says we're all the way back like a little uh, Andy Ibanez tout to start the stream. Um, big shouts to those in the NBA streets. Last night, we had uh, we had our guy Matt Grant take down the buzzer beater there. Shout out to him. Nez had a nice one there. I saw hot sauce up again. I mean, people doing work, but it's time to transition, Nez. It's try- time to transition to what, what I say every year should be a national holiday. Opening day, my friend. It's a holiday up in Canada, I think. I don't think anything goes on in Canada. Every day is a day off for you guys. We're, we're down here in the States working hard, right? We're bleeding. We're blue collar folks. Uh, no, this is, this is great. It should be a holiday. You're absolutely right about that, but we made it. We finally made it. And man, we are, we're doing work in these lobbies, man. The three bagger Thursday mm-hmm. hasn't even hit its one hour countdown yet. And it's at yep. 75% full. I mean, cool. that's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, I saw I saw uh, John Boy Beats in there. I saw in 3s. I'm seeing all these basketball bros trickle over. They're catching the fever, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be the new movement of uh, of of the summer here. That the dailies are just gonna keep carrying on with the same high volume players because they're gonna fall in love with this sport. The high volume guys that are currently playing basketball once that's over and they realize how easy it is to auto MLB and how strong correlation patterns are they're going to get hooked it's just yeah. a matter of time they're they're going to get hooked I, and you see them in there already we just need a couple of them to get like a quick taste and then they're never gonna then they're never going to be able to uh st- we, stay away but it'll be we, big as, for the prize pool as much as i hate to wish it upon the community we we kind of just need crutches to 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 win one <laughs> If Crutch, yeah, Crutches wins one, wins one, and then tells us all how to play the games, and then yeah, we're 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 good. He's he's the thought leader over there for the volume bros, so that would be helpful. But regardless, man, I mean the games are clearly in a good spot. I mean the hundred dollar just filled, um, the nice. cycle is well on its way to filling. I mean this is like really, really impressive stuff considering yeah, where really we were bullish. yesterday. Yeah, I was a little scared yesterday. We saw um, hoops. I mean, hoops was just a crazy slate yesterday with all the Q tags, and yeah. it, was, it was just a mess, right? And 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 there was a lot of. It was a big slate coupled with there was like you know eight of these things to draft in the lobby for opening day. But then the cancellation of the rained out games, I think that really helped the fill rates. And I, yeah, I think we're in a good spot now. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, it's it's just gonna fill by the. Damn near by the time we're done with the show. <laughs> Love it. Perfect. Um, let's let's get to talking about it. Let's hop in some. But first things first, um, I want to uh, talk about the Dinger stuff because this is kind of like tie a bow on the off season in transition into um, the daily streets here. I have your exposures via um, your Twitter account here, and then I will pull mine. The, the haters, as I said on Wednesday, the haters didn't think I could get the volume there. And as I ended up with 93 dingers, I believe. So, I I'm mean, proud of you. that's pretty good for me. That's pretty good for me. I'm proud of you. Yeah, it's definitely more than your typical best ball volume. Uh, you have my exposures up here. John, can you tell me, is it good if your fifth highest drafted player is not in the starting lineup on opening day? <laughs> I mean... I mean, we we kind of saw this coming. We talked about it a little bit with the lefty yeah, yeah. stuff with Walner. I bet you, I would put good money that he pinch hits for Ryan Jeffers in, and he's in today's ball game before the fifth inning. You think he'll pinch it for Jeffers? Yeah, I think he pinch hits for Jeffers in as soon as Cole Reagans is out of this game. And I don't expect Cole Reagans to go three times through the lineup on opening day. I think Matt Walner's in this ball game by the four and a half inning mark. I hope so. I like it. No, I'm obviously like tongue in cheek. We knew what it was yeah. with Walner and the and the twins here, but just kind of kind of funny. That's a it's a lot of stock in somebody that isn't starting on the first day of the season. But yeah, yeah. They're, they're gonna they're gonna platoon like crazy all season. And I don't think we're gonna see really any pitcher. It would be I would be shocked if we saw like more than 
two pitchers go more than three times through through the order or more than twice through the order. Yeah, I think quality starts are really hard to come by today. And obviously that matters on our platform because it's an extra three points. And if you tack on the win, uh, as long as they hold it from that point forward, it's extra five points that the player that, that does obtain that extra five points will be the highest scoring pitcher on this slate. And for my money, I can only think of two right now that I think will be in a position to do that. And it's gallon and Castillo for me. Okay. I sort of think that glass now has an opportunity to do something too. Yeah, fair enough. If he keeps the pitch count down and like, I think they pulled him after five innings after 77 pitches, I want to say in his first outing. I mean, I'm just always apprehensive with the Dodgers being the Dodgers that it's just like five innings capped. See you later kind of thing. Yeah, definitely. You know, some concern there, but if he's rolling, I bet they, they let him throw, throw six. If they, like, like you said, if it can stay under like, 80 pitches, which I think is gen- is probably like the, the the cap for most of these guys today. I would say like 80 is a hard, pretty hard cap. Yeah, yeah, I I, I tend to agree there. Um, yeah, Bieber maybe too. Yeah, the 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 coach Nesbit um bringing up coach Nes bringing up uh Bieber definitely Bieber potential as well. Yeah, um Nes anything about your exposures that you are jumping up and down about? Obviously. Um, more more um, densely, more exploitatively done than you've traditionally done in the past here? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Uh, one, I guess what I'm most excited about, I think, is like the Corey Seager one, where okay. this is looking like he's going to be in the lineup today. We still don't have their official lineup, but avoiding the IL whenever everyone was just kind of drafting under the assumption he's going to start the season missing time. Uh, is pretty awesome because I didn't have to reach too often to take Corey Seager. A lot of the times he was there for me in the third round when I was drafting him. So that is probably what I'm most excited about. It's not often you get 30% of a player of of his caliber without having to like egregiously reach. Yeah, absolutely. Um, do do you recall any instances of like the the biggest FUD window of draft time where you got like the GM GM start of like fourth round, fifth round, anything like that? You know, what's crazy is I'd never ha- like was able to take advantage of like the super fud of of him. You know, I saw some people have some like insane, you know, falls of him in their drafts. I was just like never really letting that happen. If he was there for me in the third round, it was almost an auto click. OK, yeah, no, fair enough. I mean, that's how you get over the field, right? Is you, yeah. you zig when everybody else zags. And if people are letting him fall in other rooms, like you're just catching it every single time. Most of the time that was on the left side of the board. Exactly. Sweet, man. Um, Yeah. Some notes in the chat here. People are giving you a shout out for last night. Looked like you had a good night in the hoop streets as well. Congrats, bro. Thank you. Yeah. I took down the crossover, which is like oh, becoming my favorite. Realize. Yeah. It's oh. becoming my favorite little contest there. Having some nice run good there in the last, uh, couple weeks in, in that contest uh we got fortunate i had a ton of deandre ayton he got rolled out swapped in cam thomas uh shout out the swaps nice. uh that that was that was really big for uh f- for me that helped a lot beautiful man yeah uh sharp of you to shot to swap to cam thomas because i think a lot of people thought swap to uh d'angelo russell or austin reeves and tried to get ahead of the ad news so good of you to stick with the cam thomas stuff yeah, a lot of J Dub in there as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Anything you want to make note of on your exposures, Nez, or should we jump to mine? No, let's take a look at yours. I want to see what you ended up with. All right, here we go. Um, ninety-four drafts in total. Uh, a man of my word who said this might be a generational opportunity to have the last great season from Michael L. Trout in the second round there and i aped the f in as uh 31.9 percent mike trout that doesn't scare me at all <laughs> that's awesome that's on that's so dope that's that's what it's all about man you, you, you get the opportunity to take second round mike trout where he can give you first round value i mean i think that's awesome yeah i i uh i went for it man i went for it uh, you can see the Isak Parade is not ready to give up the pulled fly ball love. I think there's a path to him for more playing time even than last year because nobody to platoon with. 
Uh, I think he'll just hit third or fourth every single day. Although I think he's hitting fifth today, which is kind of weird. Harold Ramirez snuck in to to hit fourth versus a righty, kind of kind of bizarre. But um, yeah, neither here nor there. Uh, calling that Christopher Morrell breakout season outfield eligibility in this contest, infield eligibility in the daily contest. Uh, so that really played into me wanting to get over the field because the outfield eligibility. Uh, we talked about Bryce Miller and Brandon Fodas, two of my favorite breakout pitchers there. Uh, Evaldi as kind of like a steady horse. Jordan Alvarez, who I think is the best hitter, best pure hitter in baseball, period. And then I, I, I ended up doing a lot of this Max Scherzer stuff, man. I, um, I talked about it a little bit on our show. I didn't love it early in the draft season when the news looked really bad. And then mm-hmm. slowly as he started to progress and start a throwing program and whatever, I just kept thinking about this tournament in a weekly lens. And I was like, what player in the 20th round would you rather have for a two-week sprint of a contest? Right. I was like, I mean, if I can have Max Scherzer as my seventh pitcher, and he somehow, even if it's just one start in the finals, give me that ceiling. Right. I mean, the 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 news on him has been very bullish. I don't know. Is that is there even like a more an even more recent news blurb on him? I see he's got like the red. Um, yeah, he, he played, played a little playing, catch. Had had a yeah, catch. Yeah, he had a catch. It says. It says had a catch with his dad right here. Yeah, that's what it says. <laughs> in the in the backyard, had a catch. <laughs> uh, the, yeah. the initial stages, making his way back. Bruce Bochy said that the, is hopeful he'll be ready to make a season at some point in June. I mean, yeah, obviously we got to wait till June for him to get in here and playoffs start at the end of J- of July. But for a twentieth round pick, um, and, and things looking good for him, I was doing a lot of Scherzer at the end of my, my drafts as well, just because I just think that he still has, I mean, at least last season, he still showed the, the K upside that, that he's always okay. shown. Um, yeah. And, 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 and the lack of moves with the rotation, I thought was a little bullish too, towards how they feel about him. They're clearly taking things slow and they think that their offense can kind of buoy themselves until they get that full healthy rotation. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I all that to say, I like the I like the Scherzer call. Yeah, and I mean not to go full bro science anecdotal, but like dude's a dog, man. Like he's the, <laughs> he's like the he's just like that fiery ass competitor that like you don't think as soon as he's ready to pitch, he's gonna be want to want to be back out on that mound. Like come on, right? Yeah, he's, he's pumping high nineties against those against this rehab start. Like no question, <laughs> yeah. no question. He's gonna be on the he's gonna be on the backfield lighting up radar guns and just blowing it past 17 year old kids in development camp he's gonna be, <laughs> he's gonna be at the complex in florida and he's just gonna be pumping shit by these kids <laughs> yeah june 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 can't get here soon enough for mad max <laughs> um nez how many of we can look at um what's going on with me right now for the daily stuff uh shoot where'd i go um i've got 82 in so far I got 60 of the three bag Thursday. I, I've already done 20. My 20 badge bro uh, brawl ones, I'm out there. Uh, we did the one cycle on stream, and then I did my big fly. You said the big fly is closed right now? Yep, it just filled. All right, so we can go ahead and look at my big fly just so people can be interested. Um, I, I did some scroll in the F down, and I took five players in the 35 plus ADP here. Uh, I think the Blue Jays. And I think Tampa Bay are low key underpriced today. Am I crazy? I, I mean, a little game stack correlation, running it back yeah. with the uh, that, with the Rays there. <laughs> yeah, we're still learning. We're, we're we're you know we're getting our sea legs under us here. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, you, you're probably gonna be the only one with you know the a, a, a Toronto stack in in this contest. Yeah. I mean, we're talking 48 entries in the big fly. Uh, I, I mean, I like where your head's at. I want chalk. I did uh-huh. uh, I did Dodgers with Mookie, Will Smith, and Outman, and then I tacked on uh, Christian Walker and C.J. Abrams with uh, Tariq Skubal. So um, okay. I, I went I went pretty chalk there. But as far as my total entries go, did the Bad Rose Brawl, I did my Sack Fly, and I did twenty cycles. So there's sixty there. 
I'm trying to get to 100 main slate drafts. I'm at 96. I would like to max, oh, but you. doing the show, uh, you know, it's probably not uh, conceivable and considering how quickly things are filling. And then I did 15 of the batting cage too, just because that was like a fun little like way to get some like high dollar down for mm-hmm. you know, on, on the slate. So I was just doing my part. Got some heavy okay. volume today. We got some sweats. Without fully doxing yourself, because I know that's that's a lot of that's a lot of uh, Skolanskis on the line for you there. But like, where were you kind of like gravitating towards highest own? What 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 has your macro strat been thus far? Really, really flat. Really, really okay. flat. Um, yeah. Like, it, it, I've got so on average, right? The average would be like sixteen percent to be even with the field, even though that's like it's like you know really really rough math considering the fact that there's so many players drafted anyways Mm -hmm. i've got one two three four five players above 16 percent drafted and two of them are pitcher so and and the it's mookie otani and judge so like i've got some some chalk there because i mean they they're they're good hitters and then and then i've got a ton of scatter shots going around like like the rest of it i'm i'm very much all over the place but when i'm veering and getting uh a player or a team that i rarely take i am making sure that i stack i'm not just doing my one off um you know athletic with mm-hmm with another one off and things like that. Like I am making a concentrated bet on a team surprising in a game where I can like really take advantage of something that is like low owned. Um, because even if it is low owned, it's not 0% owned. And right. I'm worried about being completely off that one game or that one player that mm-hmm. can just like wreck a slate and uh, you know, you can really set yourself up for a hard fall if you are very heavily invested in a, in a baseball slate. Yeah, no, fair, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. We talk about that all the time just because of the binary, like way in which points are scored. Right. It's just like, right. you're talking about before the show that like, I kind of have this accidental uh, Jose Ramirez fade. Like Jose Ramirez is an amazing baseball player. He was a second round pick in the dinger over and over again. He's in a half decent spot today as like one of the few switch hitters on that team, like a primarily left-handed top of lineup there. He's going to be one of the only right-handed guys against Alex Wood, obviously bad park, low temperatures, whatever you want to say about Oakland, but he's a guy that could kill me today and, you know, take everything to zero if he homers twice. So just, you know, being aware of that is, is pretty sharp. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I mean, the, 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 not a good bullpen in Oakland either. So, you yeah. know, even once you, once you get past that, you know, who, who, who are they facing after that? You know, it's kind of, it, it's definitely interesting because they stand out as a team that can, you know, that, that, that can certainly win. And they are outside of Jose Ramirez, just like not taken in this contest, which like, I can't blame people. Mm-hmm. Um, We got a brand new contest in the lobby here. We got, oh, buddy. uh, 108 entrants it is a winner takes all 20 dollar. i imagine single entry three max yep. let's get three in max. Winner, winner takes all winner wow. takes all four more spots for this winner takes all that's fun that's fun that yeah, is that will definitely yeah the three max definitely ensures that this thing a single fill in like 20 minutes mm-hmm. yeah I'm not, i don't want to jump in just, just i don't want to jump in with you let's uh no we'll get some it, it can, Stagger this. Get get some of the audience in here. <laughs> You're right. Imagine winning the Grand Slam via Grand Slam. <laughs> oh baby. Oh yes, baby. Yes, bud. Um, let's talk about some of your favorite uh contrarian stacks, some of your, you know, stuff that you're doing that you don't think the field's doing enough of, or stuff that you're interested in in that regard. Because it's very hard in like a nine thousand entry contest to cover all your bases. You know what I mean? Like you have to pick and choose. If I just come out here and I try and auto draft a five man stack of the top of the lineup from every single team, I I mean, we're not going to have the right pitcher paired with it. We're not going to have the right five guys from said lineup. We're not going to, it's a very interesting slate because there's no crazy outline like team totals. Like the highest team totals are Dodgers, Reds, et cetera, depending where you look, but like they're 5.3, 5.5, like stuff like this. It's not like we have a Coors game where there's like a 7.8 implied team total where everybody's just trying to get at least one piece 
of that game. So I find it very difficult to balance my, uh, I want to get little pieces of everywhere, but I also can't have pieces of everywhere. What am I cutting <laughs> out kind of thing? Yeah, no, it's, it's challenging, man. These games are fun, but they're, they're not, they're not simple. They're definitely not simple. Uh, I think one of the like I, I'm drafting a little bit of everybody to be quite honest. Uh, but one team that I don't have a lot of at the moment is the Red Sox. Uh, okay. That that's not a great park. That's a really tough matchup, and I don't really have high expectations for this Red Sox team. Uh, I'm going to have a little bit of them, but that that's one contrarian team that I think might be a bridge too far. Which is like to say that I have done some athletic stuff. You know, like I'm not the biggest Bieber guy. And I think, you know, Noda, Giloff, Rooker, sneaky little three-man stack there that you can okay. pair with something a little more solid uh, definitely won't be popular. What do you, what do you, where What's do you want to start off? You? I think Ooh, I want to start with I mean, Freeman. This is yours. Do Freeman. Yeah, you only got three of these bad boys. I think, like, um, pairing Freeman and Ellie might be, like, rare and then doing, like, a, a three-off stack. But... I also kind of want to just scroll the F down like crazy right off the <laughs> hop because um, let's just go get our guys. Let's I'm, I want to go get Lu Luis Castillo here and okay. uh, and set some stuff up. Yeah, I have no problem grabbing a pitcher early. If you know who you want, just 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 get the guy. You know, it, and, and you know you're gonna scroll anyways. It's like who who really cares? We're we're dealing with 12 games. It's a lot. It's a lot of players to to select from on the slate. Yeah. Um, what do you think about Ellie just in general? He's hitting six today. He's falling in lobbies. He was kind of like the clear one oh one in, in a lot of spots, um, you know, early. What, what do you think? Do you think he should be falling? Do you think uh, the hype at one one was overstated early? What it, what it, your just macro thought? Um, it's, it's very interesting that he's hitting sixth uh, against, yeah. against a righty. That's, that's very interesting. I wonder how long that that will last. Um, and what does that say about their thoughts on Ellie De La Cruz that he's hitting six? Right. I mean, you don't really you don't do that with a player that you think is really good, and you just lost like three players <laughs> in in your right. in your lineup coming into the season. Like, why why is that? Um, I don't know. He still has the ceiling that people were drafting him for on, on any given slate. Uh, but he's going to have his slumps and the, the, the price that, that we have to pay for him in, in dailies will be in flux in, in, in that case. But I still think he's a good pick today, man. Uh, yep. you know, Josiah Gray is not set up for success today. Yeah, fully. Uh, you know, my, 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 uh, my favorite thing about it is that it makes the stacks that were taking place early in the week uh, a little less relevant in my mind because of the correlation of like pairing mm -hmm. De La Cruz with Benson because there's right. now a four spot gap between them kind of thing. I mean, it doesn't, it's not crazy different, but it's, it's, it's a little different. Yep. Um, we could do Julio and start some Seattle stuff or we could go rogue. I think I want to build a three, two. Okay. I think I want to do Muncie and I think I want to go to, I got a couple back stacks that I like. I, I kind of like a little bit of Detroit stuff. I wasn't fully joking about the no. Abania stuff. Uh, when we need two outfielder spots though, I like the Cubs, man. I like the Cubs and I, I, I like starting with Bellinger here. Outfield a plenty for, for the Cubs. This feels feels good. I mean, Evoldi is a decent pitcher, but you know he's not the best pitcher on any slate more, more often than not. Uh, so it's a good spot. Like you said, they got a ton of outfielders to choose from. A uh, little lefty belly against uh, against Evoldi today feels feels good. Outfield definitely thins out in a hurry. Yeah, very much so. Um, and it's like one of those rare teams that you can stack a bunch of outfielders. From it, um, we might have been able to do it with the Nationals in that park, but yes, as as alluded to, uh, Winker is not in the player pool here. Yeah, I got to wait. Uh, hopefully, not not too too long for the stat providers to get up to date on that and push those guys through. But you know who is in the player pool, John? Mm. 
Hit me with it. Joseph Gallo. Yeah. I've taken him once or twice in the in the main thus far. I, I did it with uh Gilbert Ruiz once and I did it with uh Abrams, I think. Yeah. Not yeah, a huge Manassas that's, that's guy. No, not really. I've done it though. Um, but you know, I, I like Abrams a lot. I just wish he was, you know, a little less high in ADP because that that's going to raise the you know the ownership on him. Um, yeah. But I guess I guess like to an extent, I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to figure out like how much, like like when 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 should we start caring about like how often a player is drafted in these contests, maybe all the time. Maybe it's always relevant. (laughs) Yeah. uh, I think it's relevant when it's at that, like hundred percent owned mark, that 16%. I think that's the only time it's relative. Like it's that I care about. I'm going to take Morel, And then I'm going to ask you which outfielder you prefer between Hap and Suzuki. Um, Probably Hap. Interesting. Okay, cool. I would have come out on the switch. Suzuki. Okay, I would have come out on the the Suzuki side of that one, but I think there's probably a good chance Hap leads off today. That's what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, Dogman Chill with 16 percent Gallo in the dinger. Whoa. That is a stand. I I respect the hell out of that. I mean, you want to look for a 40 homer bounce back guy? We talked about the nationals a little bit, how they're roadblocking their own guys. Like they're roadblocking Dylan Cruz by giving like Eddie Rosario and these guys at bats. Right. So mm-hmm. yeah. Interesting stuff. That I had um, a ton of Gallo, like maybe last year or two years ago. That was, yeah. That did, I mean, either way, it didn't help. <laughs> Dare we say aged like milk? <laughs> that was when he was on the Yankees and he was like a top 50 pick, I think. Yeah. Do you remember that? Oh, dude, it was tragic. We were doing we were doing those Yankee stacks in the first like two or three rounds because you'd stack outfield and you'd go judge Stanton Gallo and it'd be like he pushed up to like the 40s or something. God damn. Crazy. Um the all right, there's there's our, our first $20 single entry or first $20 three max entry to the winner takes all contest. Uh, Luis Castillo, who I think has the best chance at a quality start in a win today. Probably not the highest K ceiling. Obviously, Boston, not the best matchup in the world, but I, I, I'm gravitating to him being probably the second best pitcher on the slate behind Zach Gallen. Uh, that's just kind of where I'm at. And as you similar in that thought process. Yeah, no, I, I think I think you're right. I mean, the pitching is pretty it's pretty flat today. Yeah, okay. uh, a lot of good ones, a lot of good ones. And in a six person contest, you know, you could take your favorite whenever, but in reality, you can just wait. Yep, cool. I like it. Um, Freeman and Muncie lefties stacked in the middle of that Dodgers order three and five hole put together, and then no Cubs lineup yet. But I imagine uh, we're gonna get Hap. Watson or Suzuki second, then Belly, Morell, and then the other one of Swanson or Suzuki who didn't hit second, hit fifth, and then Nico Horner hit sixth, something like that. I don't know. We talked about it a little bit on the preview show the other day there, but uh, yeah, this is kind of like a little bit of heart of the the Cubs lineup there with uh, some lefties versus Valdi or a switch in a lefty versus Valdi. Not terrible. No, no, it feels fun. I mean, there's a lot of viable uh, lineups today, as there like really always is in in these daily contests. Uh, like we talked about a little bit, like wondering what to do with ownership yep. in these contests when somebody is drafted 100. percent I think just to kind of answer my question. One thing to do is to just kind of go down the the order. And take you know someone from that same team that it, that has players drafted a bunch, but mm-hmm. take the stack partners that are taking less. You know, maybe take one or two of the chalk guys, so to speak, and then move down the order. You can do that with the Dodgers pretty easily today. Yeah, not a lot of love coming uh, uh, to Oscar and Outman's way, and it's a good way to get exposure to the highest run total on the slate, but not doing it via the chalk way of trying to get Freeman paired with Otani and Betts. Now, obviously, if I'd prefer to have 
you know, those combinations at the upper echelon there. But, you know, if you can back stack Dodgers and get your exposure by, you know, maybe you take um, Jose Ramirez and Christian Walker at the front end of a draft, and then you build a three back stack of Dodgers of like five, six, seven, where you go with Muncie, uh, Tay Oscar, and Outman. Exactly. I like it. Yeah, here you go, Chip saying that he he uh, drafted Jason Hayward. Asked me anything. I love that man. Jason Hayward opening day home run is written in stone. <laughs> is it ever, man? Um, paid asking here. Uh, thoughts on roster construction says stack construction. My data has shown two XXX and two two X take down the most contests. Um, yeah, obviously, you know, hundred contest sample. That's pretty decent. A lot of noise in it. A lot of slate dependent. I would say. It, for me, it has the most to do with the size of the slate in terms of total games on the slate of which style plays best. So if we broke down that 100 sample to then find out what the implied run totals were for certain teams, coupled with how many teams were on said slate, I think we would find a lot of the noise variables get removed. And if you have like an outlier Coors game on a four game slate, actually a five stack plays better than a two, two, one or whatever. But I do tend to agree that two, two, one is what I saw Brad win the most with last year. And it did kind of open my third eye because I was doing a lot of three twos and I thought three, two was the ideal meta. Yeah. What do you think, Nez? 3-2 3-2 is definitely the easiest to, to get to, but mm-hmm. like you said, it just doesn't seem to have the same hit rate as far as like getting first place goes, which, you know, you want to remain profitable. You want to remain uh, yeah, profitable in, in these games. Like you need to, you need to bank and, you know, in order to bank, sometimes you have to do things that don't feel comfortable but put you in a position to get first place. And when you're only drafting five hitters, yes, yeah, stacking is really helpful and can help you, you know, get in above the cash line. It's not always the best way to get first place. Now I say, I say that, and there's plenty of times where a four one and a five man onslaught has taken down first, but mm-hmm. you know, that, that's why I mix it up. <laughs> you know, yeah. I, I, I mix it up all the time. And I'll do three one one two one one one. You know, like there's there's in my opinion, there's really no right answer. Yeah, I, I don't think we I don't think we definitively know the the optimal yet. I, I think there's varying strategies for varying slate sizes and varying contest shapes, and it's all relative to payout structure and you know game totals on said slate. So I think you said it well there, Nez. You articulated well. Yeah, yo Silas, what's going on? Happy opening day. Ha- haven't seen him in a minute. Love to see him here. Oh, we got a we got a a, a Leodi shout. A Leodi Tavares pick already. Oh, oh yeah, baby. man. Leodi now against a lefty. Come now on. Now we are man. scrolling, baby. Now we are scrolling. I've been uh, there. I've done it. Nez, have you been doing any Pablo Lopez versus the Royals today? Um, sneaky. I'm gonna bring up some hitting conditions here. Uh, Kansas City looking like a sneaky warmer than normal situation here. Uh kind of been playing bats only in that one thus far but uh yeah what, thoughts on Pablo and Stutch Oh he's talking to somebody else Bria rolled through Sorry sorry about that uh I, I was I was helping out some guy uh what what were you saying <laughs> The the Pablo Lopez and sneaky hitting conditions in the Royals game uh w- what do you like uh just like are you playing Pablo at all today what gotcha. do you like uh no i mean pablo is one of the better picks today for sure okay uh royals aren't like super intimidating but they're also kind of fun to stack uh with a wit Vinny p sal triple infield action there i think is fun their newly minted leadoff hitter michael garcia little fun yeah. as as well um not a ton of pop but got some good no. good speed upside yeah right and, and it's just you know if they somehow get rolling against pablo you're 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 cooking um but otherwise i'm not you know i'm not looking to attack pablo lopez on any given slate necessarily but they're uh they're a team you can stack like it's it's opening day and the range of outcomes are long are, are large there's a lot of different ways that these games can play out and no one really thinks that it's possible 
that the Royals could have a good game against Pablo Lopez and come out guns blazing. Like it's absolutely possible. It's absolutely yeah, possible. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, talking about chill in the chat, alluding to, we got the angels lineup. Very interesting. Uh, no Luis Randolph, uh, who's on the IL there. And, uh, they got my boy, Anthony Rendon leading off Nez and then Aaron Hicks hitting second, Mike Trout hitting third. And I think it was Brandon Drury or maybe it was Taylor Ward four, Brandon Drury five, something like that. Any thoughts on the first game, which is not on our slate, but first game is going to be uh, going off in 25 minutes here. Any thoughts on that uh, Angels lineup? I mean, I just feel like really bad for Anthony Rendon. You know, that's um, uh, sorry. One second, man. This guy. This guy. He just got some guy rolling through. Oh, man. Um, macro stuff just about the weather and stuff like that. They, they Houston and Texas both most likely going to be roof open. It matters a little bit, a little bit warmer than we intended. Uh, Pacific Northwest here. I'm looking out the window. It's a little rain and cloud. I think Seattle's going to have the roof closed for what it's worth. Um, doesn't matter a whole lot, but just playing up those uh, those open. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm games. sorry, man. There's like a, a a courier out there, and he's like, <laughs> he doesn't really speak English, and I'm trying to help him. Like, just tell him to put a put a package just on the on the. I'm like, just leave it on the fucking counter. Just leave it. <laughs> um, sorry, I got I got it. Uh, hey, sheep, is it <laughs> get my sheep. audio back to my AirPods now? Because I can't I can't even hear you. Chief, is this your first time here, bro? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna mispronounce four more names in the next ten minutes. Don't worry. <laughs> oh. Um, so man, right in the middle, right in the middle of my punchline, I was gonna say I feel bad for Anthony Rendon because oh, he yeah. has to work a little harder than everybody else does today, <laughs> and, that, and nobody hates nobody hates making millions of dollars a year to do their job than uh, Anthony Rendon. Uh, poor guy, man, has to hit leadoff. He has to hit more than everybody else. I think he's probably going to ask for a little more compensation. Because yeah, poor one out for that yeah. extra point three at bats. He's going to be uh, adding yeah. on <laughs> taxing endeavor. Yeah, he's going to be <laughs> he's going to be pissed about that in the post game interview. Uh, yeah. That, it, Angels are, <laughs> they're kind of like, you can squint and not see a terrible team. Yeah, man. I, I mean, I think we talked about it during the Dinger season, and I know Easy was all over it. Just, you know, backstacking Angels was that you could do worse. It was the classic you could do worse in like the 19th and 20th uh, round there. Um, Nez, just bringing up your favorite teams for the days here. No surprises. The chalk on our site currently is Dodgers, D-backs, and then Reds, which you have a little bit below the field here. Um, Astro stuff, uh, just kind of like it's available, but not always available in these draft rooms. Um, any other teams you want to throw out? Any other combinations from your favorite teams uh, for the day here? Like I said, man, I am like scattering a lot of shots for for today um just because of the way that the ownership goes we're only drafting 36 players so i'm doing a lot of everything and you know i'm, I'm doing the pirates obviously uh <laughs> today uh we got I, I really wasn't sure like brian reynolds how he was feeling he had like some upper back tightness didn't play in spring a lot but that that lineup like the 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 four right-handed hitters that they have there if you include brian reynolds there with davis hayes uh kutch and and reynolds I connor think joe leading off yeah he's leading off he's gonna get he's gonna get pulled though as soon as they they put in a righty uh but yeah you got gotta love that uh, dare I'm we say sure. lefty killer <laughs> he, he hits dare him. we say i don't know that he's a killer he's a <laughs> he, he, he's a lefty competent uh yeah there we go but, uh, yeah. So like, like the pirates, like I said, like, I, I think I can get, I can get there. I can, you know, get excited about that. Uh, I will say too, I am, you know, worst case scenario playing a little Mar uh, Marlins as well. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm a Mitch Keller bull of course, but it's the first game of the season and we've seen him have bad starts even in a good season. And when you have jazz 
on 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 the other side and Jake Berger, you know, the, the, those those two dudes can can slug. Uh, it's worth getting there as well. They are not taken very much at all. Um, you know, I'm not trying to just like cover my bases just so I can like say, ah, I to- told you so. Cause I named every single team, <laughs> but like, that's, it's, it's, it's kind of how I'm looking at these contests when you can play over 150 lineups, you know, not in right. one contest, but when you can play over 150 lineups on the day, um, it, 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 and, and if you are playing as many lineups as you can play, you might as well take some swings on some lesser owned teams. It just, in my opinion, make, makes sense. I'm not just going to draft Astros and Dodgers every single time I enter a lobby because I think they're mm-hmm. the best plays. Like the range of outcomes exists where those they're not the best plays, obviously. Right. Yeah. No, I, I like the show just in terms of ceiling outcome for like some of these players that can power speed combo, even if it's not like the best matchup in the world. But like the Jazz Chisholm shout, I really liked that one. Um, I, I've done a one or two O'Neill Cruz actually surprising, like not not surprised because like we think he's going to lead off versus righties. But I thought maybe they'd still give him a chance to lead off versus a lefty. Maybe that comes in the future here, hitting sixth in the order today. But just like some of these profiles of players that we were chasing in uh, the big contest because they have high ceilings. So like same thing with Royce Lewis, same thing with Byron Buxton, like some of these, you know, where we're not just chasing matchup and stuff like that. We're chasing talent as well in this player pool. Right. Um, Yeah. The the twins too today are fun as well, by the way. (laughs) Yeah. Why don't you just name every team for everyone? (laughs) I might as well. Like if you don't just read lineups. (laughs) Yeah, get to this team. Get to this team. Uh, I, but the Twins are are really fun, though, because Reagan throws really hard. And if they make let's, hard contact, they're going to send that thing flying. Let's do a full scroll the F down. Give me a pitcher who is outside of the top six that is your favorite to click on. Lazardo, Reagan's, Webb. Reagan's, like? even though we just talked about the Twins, I still think that it, it, the pendulum swings both ways. All right, uh, we're doing where, a full, I, yeah. full-fledged scroll. Let's have some fun here. Um, I think the next pick here, let's go with Jazz. I like the I like the Jazz and Burger shout just as like ceiling outcome uh, plays. Let's go with Jazz. They're hitting beside okay. one another. You get a nice boost in the correlation. Um, you know, I don't want any of the Arias stuff, even though like his ceiling is four hits or whatever, but uh, it just doesn't score well enough on our platform when – he goes four for five and scores three runs. He still might not matter. So let's go with if, the, if he's scoring runs. It helps. Like I will yeah. say, like in a, in a stack, like I think it yeah. makes sense. Uh, but I, I, if you don't want to take a rise, I'm not going to pound the table and make you take Luis a rise. I'm just going to say, if you do take him, it's in a stack, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tom asking a question that we get all the time: What your preferred stack size is on average? We kind of addressed it, uh, maybe like five, 10 minutes ago, if you want to roll back there, Tom, but just in general, uh, you know, two, two, one and two, three are kind of like the normal ones we get to. And then there's a whole lot of people that like to get to the five or the four plus ones as well. Um, yeah, that, that, uh, Moreno projection. That's, that's crazy. That's wild. Uh, let's take burger here. As we alluded, we're going to do the, the burger plus jazz Chisholm. And then, do you want to do a four stack or a two with a one off, Nez? Or a, sorry, a three stack or a two with a one off with these next ones? Hmm. Who else would you want to take from Miami if we did one more? Probably Bell or De La Cruz because he fills an outfield spot. But honestly, probably not. I'd probably rather do three from somewhere else. All right. Uh... You could do San Diego, man. Yeah, people, go are taking, Tatis. people are taking Tatis as a one-off, and he's not going every single draft, even though he has a 27.3 ADP. I'd venture to guess he's going in like 70% of drafts, and he wasn't going in the early drafts because he was greater than a 30 ADP. But I don't see anyone take Machado and Cronenworth. Yeah, no, Machado them. is like, yeah, all those guys just completely overlooked today, which some strong leverage. 
I like it. Another guy I've been getting to, and I don't know if it's just Homer uh, bias uh, today, is I've been getting to Jorge Polanco. A little Jorge Polanco, a little maybe a little uh, Cal Raleigh mixed in there. I like Cal Raleigh today. Okay. Cal Raleigh's always going to be up there as far as like home run odds go, night in, uh, slate in, slate out. And he's always overlooked. So I, I've done some J Rod with Cal Raleigh. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I mean, they might hit four spots apart, but it might not matter. I really hope they they go with like just leaving. It was nice to see Jordan left in the two hole here. Uh, oh, sorry. Let's just finish this pick and then I'll give a thought on that Mariners lineup. Uh, Cronenworth for the low owned leverage or Bogarts? Uh, Bogarts. Bogarts. All right. Yeah. You know, I'd take Cronenworth. I know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get you to diversify in your heart. We are all in the Crone Zone. Come <laughs> on, this. Can you just picture it? I, I'm oh, doing man. it to diversify it for your for your sake. <laughs> uh, Devers going yard today. I mean, Devers had five home runs in spring. He is. He's looking every bit the part of the best third baseman in baseball. There. Um, so I was saying he's got some Jorge Polanco. You love to see that. You love All right, Nezzy. How I I do love to see it. Um, should we try and do another winner takes all grand slam here, guys? You guys are you guys yeah, gonna fill this one fun. up? Are you are you gonna pony up for this twenty this twenty sheet? Those are always fun. Do it. Yeah. I'm not doing it. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna wait till after the after the stream. Oh, you think you're gonna make it to after the stream, huh? Well, well hopefully. We'll I'm see. going straight. I'm going straight to first pitch, buddy. Wow. <laughs> you know what's crazy? What's up? I'm looking. I mean, these are just home run odds. They don't really mean anything. But Devers. Yep. Has the highest uh, or, or the lowest odds, whatever you want to say. Uh, lowest return for, for a home run. At wow. plus two Plus 220. Wow. That is surprising. Not I a great ballpark. Not a great no. matchup. Yeah. Judge is second there at plus 250. Uh, or actually, Otani is second. But yeah, wow. I, I, I was not expecting to see Devers there. No, likewise. It's a fun, uh, it's a fun uh, shout there. Yeah, these these odds are so terrible though. I'm not like you really need long ones to to play that. But at, at any rate, it's not super transferable to, to fantasy, but something to keep in mind. My boy Brendan Lau. There you go. Ow, hitting second. Yep. How about that? You know when he's in there, and less of a pinch hit risk this this year. With um, yeah, I, I was looking at it earlier. With Jonathan the state of the team, Miranda. yeah, just state of the team in general. But like, damn, Otani goes first now. I wanted Otani at two. Um, do you want to do some scrolling right off the hop here, Nez? Like we did last time. It's winner takes all. We got to scroll, man. Yeah, you got to scroll if you want to take it down. Um, okay. What about my boy Abrams? No, I got a veto Abrams here. Okay, I'm not on CJ Abrams today. Let's do. Let's. Oh my god, this is what happens when you throw out Abrams. I thought you were going to be better than that. <laughs> that's, your, that's, that's your loss, buddy. <laughs> I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help you be great. You don't like the guy with power, speed combo, and Great American Ballpark. That's a. <laughs> that's a skill issue, buddy. <laughs> Oh man, classic blames Des. I always blame Des. You could still scroll down with um with Big the Dodgers. Oh uh, yeah, Mookie Betts the draft. <laughs> Freezer's. I, I'm glad to see Freezer back. He was taking a hiatus. He's not a. He's yeah. not around. He's not a round ball guy. He's a uh, football and baseball. I can. I respect it. Yeah, good to see the legend feed the freezer in the lobbies right now. (laughs) 
<laughs> Dogman said Gunnar Henderson just tripped and fell during his introduction. <laughs> Great no start. No way. No way. There's Great no start. way. He's clowning us right now. Oh, dude. The negative juice there. All the all the swag <laughs> is gone. I wonder if, you, if I can see this on MLB TV. Yeah, I was just going to pull it up on the side here. Oh, my God. I, I, I need to rewind to see him fall. That is so good. All right, we're back up on the clock here. Nez, we could do something chalky, the Christian Walker thing. Why don't we take uh, Muncy? Muncy or Will Smith? Who do you prefer today? I definitely prefer Will Smith, but Muncy. Um, All right. If you Muncy's prefer fine. Will Smith. You prefer Will Smith. We'll do it. Correlates Anytime a little bit better. Anytime we actually get Will Smith, you know? Yeah. Correlates a little bit better with the one hole versus the five hole with Mookie Betts leading off. Yeah. I mean, I think, too, you know, you can you can still pounce around. Uh, I, I, like... <laughs> Ty Oscar too. I mean, you can do you can do a lot with these Dodgers, man. Their their lineup is just so so filthy. You like Tay Oscar more than Muncy? You can do Muncy first because if you, unless you like, it depends on what you want to do with this. Um, I'm asking you. You're you're supposed to be driving this bus a little bit. I don't have the good dude. Place. You have three you're max the- entries. You like <laughs> you I I don't want to do the whole the whole thing. I mean, if. I'm not like a Muncie guy, you know, like I'm just, I just Fair don't enough. really do a lot of Max Muncie in my, in my builds, but he stacks better. He's hitting five. So he does stack yeah. better, but Tay Oscar has the outfit eligibility, which is nice. And he has an insane ISO and that's really, it's really what it boils down to, man. These Dodgers are going to look good, like every single slate, but especially when they face the likes of miles Michaelis, while everybody else in the league, other than the Diamondbacks, are facing somebody of respectable caliber. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. I mean, like Miles Michaelis is the Joshua Palmer of starting pitchers today. <laughs> He's a professional ass yeah. pitcher. You know what I mean? Like, it wouldn't shock the world if he goes out there and goes like, you know, six innings with only three earned or whatever. But uh, yeah, I, I I totally get the sentiment. Um, easy chiming in that he's got 60% Muncie. So it's going to be you or him, Nez. Muncie is such an easy guy. I mean, that just makes too much sense. Muncie's, Muncie's a projection darling. I'm going to be over here smiling to myself when he looks at call strike three and says, nope, nope. And meanwhile, it was middle, like right above the knees, and he should have been swinging. <laughs> I mean, that that that's his MO. Um, is it not? Be the freezer eating the chalk as he's prone to do with uh, the two projection darlings of the slate. Why don't we do that? Um, let's do twins. Let's do twins, man. Okay. Start with Buxton. Yeah. When Buxton's healthy, I mean, he's probably not going to run. He's going to be DHing and not playing the field. The majority of the same thing as last year. But when he's healthy, let's take advantage of, of him and Royce Lewis being healthy. Yeah, and then did you want to do a third with the Twins or like a one-off after this? I don't know. We'll decide uh, in a second here. You sell me some pens on some players. What do you like? I mean, there's a ton of one-offs that, that you can that you can go towards. Um, Let's name and, some players. And Nobody Brian likes Hayes. Okay, Nez, come on. <laughs> don't tell me to do something and then get upset when I do it. <laughs> Well, you're just playing the hits with Brian Hayes. Like, I mean, he's on the cover just for you. But, like, I don't think Brian Hayes is in, like, a great spot today. I mean, is, it, is, that, is that, like, like I'd rather. <laughs> well, we're, if you just want to name, like, random players, like, we could just name random players all day. But you think he's in a good spot to be, like, a good homer pick today. Face on a lefty? Helps. Okay. Getting high I'll give the you, order. I'll give you a better one. Spencer Torkelson. 
That's a good one. I think that's a I think like that's a better one. That what I else? mean, yeah, if I'm taking them straight up, yeah, I'll take go ahead and take Torkelson. I mean, dude, there's two hundred <laughs> something players to choose from. <laughs> I know, but you just told me I got three bullets here and you we have to add one one off to this. So what's a better pick here? To add uh Carlos Correa to this, to add um to Oscar Hernandez to this. Or to add one of the aforementioned, scroll the F down, Homer calls. Mm, probably take Oscar. Okay. We'll build ourselves a 3 2. Do Tay Oscar here. With a contest this size, too, you can probably get away with doing more like four and five builds where you just like need a team that just kind of has a good game and you capture just points as opposed to somebody scattering and taking, you know, more zeros. Um, Mm -hmm. I think you're, you're more live to win a a smaller entry contest like this with, uh, with an onslaught, even though it is winner take all. um, Yep. There's, we're only talking about a hundred something entries. Yeah. So you're going to skew, even though it's smaller, you're going to skew more heavily like four ones and fives. Just get less I could right. see it. Yeah, I mean, for for a hundred entries, mm-hmm. you you nail that stack. You're you're probably in like pole position. Okay. Yeah, I mean that checks out. That's what uh, Tomato's gonna do. That's what uh, uh, Jay Witz is gonna do. That's what all these guys who have been in the MLB streets for you know years to come doing that. Lasmoosh, Lasmoosh was another guy. Who does yeah. that sort of that sort of strategy? Yeah, <laughs> Brian Hayes, now nah, Hannah Goat. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. You know how it goes. Hey, one of them's hit forty home runs in his career. <laughs> um, yeah, I like this a little G Loft versus the Bieber chalk. You talked about liking, you know, a little contrarian A's infield stack. I think JJ Belay hits in the middle of that order if you want to pair it with a uh, one outfielder. But if you're building this team, you know, starting with like Soto and Judge and then building like three A's infielders, that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, Canna, lefty killer hitting cleanup. You could do Canna plus Torkelson. Like that's it's not bad. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, I, I, the way I kind of think about getting to these teams that I'm like trying to, you know, just kind of cover my ass on mm-hmm. is uh, I'm typically going like a four, a foursome of, of, of said team to okay. cover my bases and pairing that with a popular one-off. And I'm doing that via the plane. Like I'm going, like, like getting, getting my one-off, getting my pitcher, mm-hmm. having the, the four players I want, plus some of their teammates. If I miss pushing the plane to moving on. I'm not always yeah. auto drafting in, in these streets, but you know, to get the volume that I want to get, uh, yeah, it's, it's part of the, it's part of the process. Yeah, for sure. Um, asking if Mo's asking if the onslaught is as viable in the big contest. Absolutely. Um, but you just have to get more right in the big contest. So if there is one player who breaks the slate, like, Jose Ramirez hits two home runs or Spencer Torkelson hits two home runs. He's going to be the guy you need. And it's not necessarily going to be the stack that you need is going to be correlated with that. I mean, there's a chance because he's the player that goes off that he drags teammates with him or whatnot. But like it, the, the, the more densely, you know, the more dense the contest is like a hundred players or something like that, the less variables you have to get right. With nine thousand entries, you got to get more va- more variables perfect, right? Yeah, I mean, the larger the contest, like you said, the more perfect you have to be. And a lot of times, that five man onslaught's not perfect, and we saw right. them win a lot less uh, throughout the season. And we saw the guys that were the like the infamous five man onslaughters lean more towards four plus one. Um, yeah as opposed to just five-man onslaughts. Now, um, those five-mans can still win, especially if they're low-owned. Uh, but mm-hmm. it's interesting because we've never really had 150 max for baseball yet. So Yeah, no, it's a good point. It's going to be this pretty is probably, This is the biggest baseball contest the site has ever had, correct? Yep. Yeah. yeah. 
So it's going to be very interesting to see, you know, what you need, who's the guys you need, et cetera. Yeah. How far down do you need to scroll? You know, what's it, 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 it's going to be, it, it's going to be tilting for a lot of people. I mean, we can't, we can't <laughs> all, we cannot all win, unfortunately. Yeah. And you know, to win, you got to beat, you got to beat the, the other contests, the other, the other contestants. So how, how mm-hmm. are you going to beat them? How are you going to beat everybody? And maybe it's that one-off Torkelson, like you said, maybe you start off that stack with the one-off Torkelson and then, and then you start to build out the stack. I mean, it's tough, man. These games, these games are tough. It's not, it's fun, but they're difficult. Yeah. Man, this is a uh, peak MLB though. Like I'm just trying to log into my MLB TV to like put on that game on the side. And it just like, I just can't log in. I'm just clicking log in over and over again. And it's just not working. You, you, you're, it's because you're somebody like you probably forgot your password. You're definitely a, no, no, no. Forgot my password it's, guy. It's saved. It's saved in here. Bizarre. Did you, did you, you renew your subscription? Oh yeah. I've been watching spring. Dang. They don't want you to watch opening day. That's crazy. They said, they said USA only. Fucking crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the middle of doing. Uh, you'll have to forgive me. Uh, a uh, my 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 winner take alls. I got I got to get those. Got to get those in. That thing's almost fifty percent full. Oh, okay. I'll do one more next to get that in. Um, we're gonna go scrolling as usual here. Uh, I'm sticking. I'm sticking to my guns with this Luis Castillo being the being the one zero one pitcher today. Yeah, it feels good. Home park. Red Sox yeah. are not intimidating. It feels it feels good. Uh, I'm doing a lot of gallon, a lot of scooball, and a lot of glass now. I think glass now has the ability to like separate by like ten points against yeah. the, the highest scoring pitcher. Strikeout eleven. I was not. It was nice to see. Uh, it was nice to see that uh, Brendan Donovan was leading off there. One of our thesis seasons from uh, the the dinger there as like a tack on your card stacks late. Um, all right. The aforementioned Spencer Torkelson. I think he's a good home run, uh, bet today. He is sub 300 as far as odds go. Is, uh, yeah. Jose, I, I, Jose Ramirez, I think is like, I, 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 that's someone that I'm scared that I'm like too far off on. I need to I need to get to him more. It's not like I don't like him today. It's just, you right. know, you can only draft five hitters a a draft, you know. It's hard hard to get to everybody and you know, I'm I'm, I'm a little worried. Yeah. Yeah, Silas so saying what we were talking about earlier there that, you know, Klaus now might be one of the only guys who stretched out long enough to go long enough. Mhm. Yeah. Yeah, you you had some has has some innings under his belt as well. Um, yep. but obviously they're, you know, on average, that upside isn't quite the same. Um, all right, Nez, just for you, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing the CJ Abrams stuff. Thank me later, man. It's fine. <laughs> He's fun. He is fun. He is fun. He is fun. And you know what? You, you, can even add a little. You gonna, are you gonna go Joey Gallo here? Or is he the one? Is he a one off? You 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 call it for your Nats? No, I think I think I'm I think I'm gonna do a two two one here, and I think I'm gonna try and put, yeah, maybe maybe three and put Lane Thomas in the two hole and then put Gallo with it, something like that. Okay. Yeah, Connor Joe for all the coin. I think Connor Joe might only get two at bats. But they're gonna be good at they're gonna be great at bats. That's yeah, that's what you're getting. Yeah. Can we address why no twin on the thumbnail? I don't know. I was just I just clicking buttons, man. Just like when I draft. <laughs> exactly. I'm trying to get a little yeah, trying to get Numi a little hot, a little heated. <laughs> Gotta get him fired up. You can't watch the O's in North Carolina. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I mean, at, at least you're you're better than Iowa. In Iowa, you can't watch like half the league. Yeah. 
and they don't even have a team that you can go see, which is just insane. Like, how are you blacking? Why is Iowa? Ugh. Bizarre. Um, let's do the Lane Thomas thing. I think we need two outfielders on this one. Do the Thomas do. and Gallo. Need two outfielders on everyone, as a matter of fact. <laughs> do Thomas Jordan and Gallo. And... Say again? Jordan still being there is crazy. Yeah, man, this is baseball. This is why it's the most fun game to draft, because ADP doesn't matter at all. No, like not at all. Yeah. Greatest thing ever. Yeah, Joey's asking, like, why Luis Castillo at three? And I ask, why not? <laughs> we scrolling, baby. Yeah, if you know you're not going after a chalk stack, just take your pitcher. I mean, just who 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 cares? Let other people take the, the chalk stuff. If you know you won't, just mm-hmm. – let them do it. It doesn't matter. It's like either Luis Castillo at three or um, or CJ Abrams at three. You know, what's the difference? Yeah. And another thing I like to do in terms of like when people come in and, uh, you know, they, they they do like a contrarian stack, they always take SP1, you know? They do. do it with SP, SP3 or SP4. Like just switch it up, man. Um, all right. Let's do Gallo here. And then that's with Spencer Torkelson. Are we doing uh, Veerling? Are we doing Canna? Are we doing Riley Green? Or are we doing Andy Abanez? I think I would just do Riley Green and okay. not care about the, the lefty-on-lefty matchup because if things go well, Crochet's not throwing more than like three innings anyways. Right, yeah. If Torkelson homers in the first inning, uh, he's not making it back to face Green for a second, maybe even third time. Yeah, no way. Yeah, I like that show. That's gonna be so great to get the quad box up. I can't. can't I was I was really looking forward to it, and and then they just decided that I can't. You're not allowed. Login, this login button. (laughs) Take a look at some of these. Yeah, let's take a look at some of these teams. Uh, There's the Tampa onslaught from the Dog Bowl champ. There, hitting Harold. Love to see hitting Harold. Wow. Yeah, we got uh, um, Tarkus doing the, hey, don't dupe us, bro, back stack of the San Diego stuff. There we go. Riley Green for literally all the money. For all the green. Riley Green for all the green. Uh, Sam Olson doing a Shohei Otani and then four of the Kansas City game. I mean... Yeah, you just got to be out here, man. You just got to be in the streets getting after it. Uh, I'll do my last Grand Slam here for the people. Oh, shit. I clicked the wrong one. Last Grand Slam. Help me fill this bad boy up. Uh Uh-oh. There we go. Two spots. This might be me and you in here. Oh, Nathaniel's in here. Nathaniel Lau. Lucky for you, I already got a pirate stack in with my other entry, so you're not you don't have to you, you can take them here. It's fine. I'm, I'm I like covered. This. Um yeah, I hate that Gal was batting fifth. There was a nugget in the in the early season that he was gonna be the everyday three hitter and play first base, but that that took all of one game to get uh renounced. Uh Nolan Jones Day. Nolan Jones is a guy I don't have a ton of exposure to because I liked Gallon today but he is low-key one of the ultimate leverage plays against it um you know left-handed power plays a little bit better in arizona than does right-handed i think i'm pretty sure on that one don't quote me on it but it's like it's really negligible difference but if someone's gonna homer on that team uh you put your money on nolan jones and ryan mcmahon that 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 seems like a good uh good little contrarian stack there yeah i mean (laughs) And that's that's one team that nobody is trying to get to. Nobody is trying to get to the Rockies today. I mm-hmm. mean, for good reason, but it's your the leverage is very much there. Just think to yourself, like, do I want this team? If the answer is hell no, then I don't know, maybe maybe throw a stack down. <laughs> Mount Rushmore, Sam Olson doing the Nez and taking CJ Abrams in the first round. Oh, I'm, buddy. I mean, bro, knowing ball, it's it's binary. You either got it or you don't. And Sam Olson <laughs> has, never, has never been more of a one on, on the no ball category. I love it. 
Uh, I'm going to take Otani this time here. I Where guess I can't, get your ideas? I, can't, I can't ask you uh, what I should be doing in this one. But uh, no, I know. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You got to do it all by yourself, John? You're going you gonna to be all right? You're going to. I'm probably, you, probably going to win a, yourself here. <laughs> I'm probably going to build a fucking winner finally. <laughs> I don't have a lot of uh, D backs. So hopefully the fee, uh, the room lets me, lets me build out uh, a cute little D back stack, um, mm. which that, that feels scary, but that was the one team that I'm like, everybody is in on. And uh, it, it, that, that to me felt like slight leverage to find my way off of them. Mm. Despite the fact that I love the spot and I think their lineup is really, really solid. Um, that that's one team that I think I'm lighter on in the field. Uh, I'm instantly regretting the Otani pick because now all of a sudden I remember that Easy's in this room and he takes Muncie already. So Good I'm gonna take you. Glass now. I'm gonna take Glass now here, and then I think I'm gonna build a four-one with a Contrarian team here. Yeah. Okay. Not 100 percent certain yet. I'm thinking through this plan as on the fly. We got baseball on. Yeah, I, I would love to watch it, but uh, <laughs> shout out to fucking MLB TV. <laughs> you got to do MLB uh, dot CA slash TV. You got to do the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty good. Uh, let's play the hits, man. Hurry I, up. I, I think Toronto is mispriced today. I think Toronto is. Uh, the, the, Eflin was good last year, but I think Toronto is 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 going to be. I think Toronto is going to be my my contrarian stack that gets home today. Yeah, uh, it, it'll be contrarian for sure. I don't think I, I like I don't have any projection systems here that I'm that I'm using. I'm going to wait a little bit before I uh, before I get in on that. And mm -hmm. but what I do know because I was watching Easy earlier is that Toronto doesn't project that well. So I think you're going to be coast is clear for your ownership uh on on them so that there's there's that not a great place to hit not a great matchup but let me introduce a little bit of that but it's funny because like the season long i mean it's one game so i know i'm not like i'm not saying oh well you said this but like season long projections love the blue jays love yeah them. so it's just like a little surprising to me that a little zach eflin against them has them looking as poor as they did in the in the models. Mm -hmm. Um, interesting to see Sam Olson going full five man contrarian in the winner takes all. That is uh, that is probably the meta that we were discussing there. Right, because nobody's going to have that, and that team does okay. You know, yeah. he's could be in position to to take first. Yeah. I'm going to try and uh, thread a tight needle because I'm not as smart as uh, the aforementioned Mount Rushmore legend, Sam Olson himself. And I am going to go zigging and zagging and go with a 2-2-1 two, two, in this one. You're going for it all. I like it. It is winner take all after all. Uh, all right. I have four Diamondbacks right now. I'm going to take yep. my pitcher. And uh, I'm going to go who I've been just hammering today in Turi Scooball. We'll, All we'll, right. we'll see. We'll see how this works out. Okay. And is does Lord Escuriel feel feel good? Do I do I really want to do a Lord Escuriel? Uh, I'm going to say yes. We're going to – these Rockies, man, are truly as bad as they appear. So let's just – let's just onslaught them. There is your your onslaught Arizona with the late night hammer from Nez. Easy doing a fun one, taking the other side of the scooball thing there. Um, Turn me up. Oh, sorry. Yeah, let's let's see. You, you, go, go get the other side of the game. Yeah, we're, we're game stacking, baby. We are That's, game stacking that one away. That is awesome. Uh, I was gonna say, turn me up. Shout it out! Like one of my favorite scroll down picks. That's like in a not a chalk spot, but in a on a good team. Uh, Yanir Diaz, uh, mm. catcher. He's hitting seventh today, but yeah, uh, you know, righty on lefty matchup there with the Crawford boxes. Come on, I like it. I like it. Your highest uh, drafted player is up at the plate. 
Oh, Michael and... L. Trout the third. Oh, he just got Waldemort. That's cr- oh no, he didn't. He hit one out. Congratulations, John. He almost got Waldemort. <laughs> Mike Trout, big fly, 31%. I am currently in first place in the dinger. First place <laughs> in the dinger. Your lineup yeah, I don't know if you guys set. I don't know if you guys saw that uh that um um uh underdog sign, the baseball is dead podcast there. Great stuff. But they're doing a live stream that's starting with uh with the games, and they have a gong, and they're calling it the dong gong. And they are banging it every homer that takes place on opening day right now. So you love that. Oh man, that was awesome. That I mean, that was such a classic trout stroke, man. I mean, it off was... the count, baby. What did you think he was gonna do? <laughs> what did you guys think he was gonna do? His name is Michael L. Trout the third. And what's even uh... like? Fun, I think what's funny too is like, assuming let, let's say like trout until he you know maybe a little bullish until he's like 38 plays 130 games a year mm-hmm. a lot of good baseball in 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 there like he's he's not past his prime he's just like hasn't played a lot of games i would i would like to agree with you Nance. i 30, i definitely agree 32 yeah like that's, just that's, don't that's, run and dh a, a little more now it's a lot of people's prime Dude, one thing that wasn't talked a, a shit ton about, or I didn't hear talked a shit ton about, is the removal of Otani from that lineup. Obviously, you, it's not good to remove Otani, but it frees up DH at bats. And Trout has played every day center field and was a very good defensive center field for a long, long time. But like, come on, give him a give him thirty to forty of those days not in the field. What would that do for his body? You know? Yeah. We got the Rangers lineup. Sorry. Uh, okay, let me guess. You want to play the fun game? Sure. Okay. Um, Simeon, Seager, Adolis, Carter, Lankford, Heim. All right, I'm done. Uh, just top six. Uh, Lankford is fifth. DH. Yeah. Nailed it. Josh Josh Young is batting third. Fuck yeah. That's sweet. That's awesome. Josh Young third. Garcia cleanup. Uh, Heim sixth. Evan Carter hitting eighth. Uh-huh. Ezekiel Duran playing first base. My goat. Uh, batting seventh. And then Tavares uh, hitting, hitting ninth. You know, second, second leadoff. Fun. Okay. Good ass team, dude. They're a good ass team. This is the classic what we were this is the classic what we were talking about uh yesterday with uh Pete, where they just see the new rules and they sign uh CPAT. The Steelers just sign CPAT. They see the new rules and they just whatever. I see a new lineup and I just go and boom, Chung and Garcia. <laughs> next two picks. Oh, dude. I- I, I would be lying if I said I didn't start drafting a team immediately after I got their lineup. To, Everybody to my phone. does it, man. Everyone does it. <laughs> How can it's you not? So funny. <laughs> How can you not? Uh, wow, man. Everything is uh, is about to is 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 going to fill. That is crazy. The cycle, which you know overlaid a lot last season, um, is about to fill. Only thing that's left is the, the the furthest one from filling is the badge bros brawl who 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 watching who among us did not get their 20 max in yeah get your 20 max in there the problem with that is it was a really heavy ask we said this behind closed doors after we saw the structure 20 max for 2200 entries you need 112 people or whatever to 20 max it uh, that one needed to be a, a 30 or 35 maxer, and then it would have filled. But uh, yeah, I hope it gets there. If, if we don't fill. Yeah. I, that, that, hey, we had no input on the structure, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who did that? Who made that contest? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm doing 100. I'm doing 100 Vino. three bagger Thursdays. I've got two left. And then we're, 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 we're calling it. I'm calling it a slate. Love it, dude. 
All right. As soon as you're you're done there, how many uh, minutes are left on the timer? Will I be able to get one more in? I wasn't oh, throwing yeah. them under yeah, yeah, the bus. Left. It was just, uh, yeah, it was just a copy pasting error. Yeah. Yeah, we got uh, you, you've got time, but it is going to fill very soon. It's at um, ninety four percent. Ninety four percent. Okay, we're going to take Muncie for easy because easy is smart and probably smarter than me, guys. Um, and then I think we got to scroll that picture here. I'm going to go. I mean, take... I, don't, I don't think you have to if you're bored. Right. Sure. You know, I mean, I it's. <laughs> I, I don't want to stop you from having fun. All right. Glasnow kind of correlates with this. It's N Nelson. Nelson's his middle name. I love Kate. I love saying L throughout. Yeah, it's always L. It's always L. For it's John. L. Yeah. All right. I'm there you go. That. Best ball. Best ball. Bob's doing his work. He's in a brawl right now. Love it. Let's go. Yeah, man. Trout homers, baby. Nobody runs better than me. Remember, reminder, nobody <laughs> runs better than John. Don't worry about it, man. That's the, that's the new should model. We, should, we we're, we're lucky. Victory, should we victory lap it like it's Gabe Davis touchdowns on uh, on the first oh, week of the season? Oh, dude, hell yeah. You need just, to be rubbing it in the everybody's exposure. face. Oh, <laughs> like with the, with the meme with the champagne in my face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, we got we just got huge news. Nick Senzel scratch from the lineup. Who's getting put in that Nationals lineup? Ooh. T did they have a body to throw in there? I wish I could say it was Stone Garrett. Poor Stone Garrett still hurt. <laughs> He'll be back. He's too big. Too much muscle. Ooh, an Alec Thomas pick. Scrolling the F, my friend. Fuck Holy yeah. Holy shit. I respect it. Now we're really getting crazy. <laughs> Tell me with a good time, boys. We might need to screen grab you with like two birds, guns blazing with the with the, and then you can tweet your exposure. So we give you something to, <laughs> to tweet out. I think it's all already right. already won the dinger. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the money. Thanks for the money, fish. <laughs> God, it, it would be uh, so fun to be an asshole. I bet. <laughs> I don't know what that's. Well, like, let me though. tell you, Nez. It, 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 it's, it's not bad. Um, Will Smith or Corey Seager to close out my stack here. Um, or you said school. who? Seager, I Will guess, S since you have like no time. Will Smith or Corey Seager? Go with the uh, the best hitter in baseball. So Will uh -oh. Smith it is. All right, we got 23 minutes to fill this. 92.8%. I'm just going to keep hopping. Um, it's, it's bad visual if I do more than one at a time, I think. Like jumping around, is it not? Uh, I mean... It's your call. I don't. I mean, like, I don't know if it's bad visual. You just you keep everybody up to date as far as what you're building. I'm watching your boy, Mount Castle, up at the play three one count runners on the corners. I'll be your Mount Castle. Bob, I'll be um, your Bob Euchre. Thank you. Please do ball four bases are juiced. Be, be my Brock Meyer and and suck back a couple shots while you're talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> so we've already got a, uh, a mound visit. For Patrick Sandoval, uh, Buddy has zero outs recorded. Ooh, hate to see it. Oof, oof, da. <laughs> now he's facing uh, my boy, Anthony Santander, at the plate. Um, Vargas jumps into the Nationals lineup there, playing Ooh, third. Everybody base. adjust. Everybody adjust. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, multi table is fine if we auto. Yeah, you know what? I've really fallen in love. Uh, we, we've been giving some feedback and some suggestions and stuff, but I've been really falling in love with drafting at lock on desktop versus and doing it in this window. The one thing for baseball for correlation and stuff, 
I really wish we could see our team in this window instead of going to drafts to then see your team right here. Oh. So that's a just a little piece of feedback that we've thrown in there because the, the ability to draft like multiple drafts from this active tab is actually oh, really nice. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, it, it's it's absolutely like second to none. And I know that there's there are extensions out there and I know like Andy's also working on his own too. Um, they, mm. they, they do the trick, but, you know, could be, uh, you know, they help, but it would be so yeah. awesome to see that built in. Okay. Let's do, let's do some crazy scrolling in this one. You got me, the, you, you and Sam Olson, you got me on this CJ Abrams. I'm going to take CJ Abrams here. I'm so mad. I'm so offended. Like it took, it took Sam Olson to get you on the CJ Abrams. It wasn't, I, I couldn't it was, do it for you, but well, what you see, what you see, a, a you know, a bona fide winner <laughs> and Sam Olson do it. Now, oh man! You know what? I think I need to uh, get some CJ Abrams in my life. Yeah, <laughs> Sometime oh. there, GIDP. Oh no, just a just a fielder choice RBI. Thirty nine percent. Oh, Mister Goodboy coming in hot with the slide. <laughs> He's going straight under the it. table here. Throw your Mister Goodboys in the chat. Mister Goodboy is always out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think I like Lane Thomas, man. I think Lane Thomas is just a good hitter. I'm with you, man. I'm with you. I, he was he was so expensive in the dinger, but uh, it doesn't mean I don't like him. Yeah, uh, I'm Otani over bets today. I know that's a contrarian take, but and it's splitting hairs. Oh, it's do you splitting think, hairs. Do you think there's any chance or any impact that I mean, Mookie's a freak, but do you think there's any chance he has like I'm not going to say a little bit of a down, just taking on the responsibility of playing shortstop. Do you think that matters and impacts his bat at all? I don't think so. No, I, yeah. I mean, I don't know how you can really, you know, quantify something like right. that. So I, I, I'm not, I'm not giving it any, any credence, but you know, he's, they are asking him to do a lot, but that's just, just speaks to the caliber of player that he is. Right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Mr. Good Boy rolling through. Good boys in the chat. Good boys in the chat for opening day. <laughs> Mr. Good Boy is, is 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 thinking about an ice cold Sapporo while the Mariners are going. He's thinking about steaks on the grill tonight. That's what's oh, up. Buddy. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> Westberg up at the plate with two outs. Yeah. Um, Robert asking what I'm gonna do with the hundred K. Uh, I'm going to buy Mr. Give Boy some nice stuff. And um, I'm going to buy someone in the chat a Toyota Corolla. That's what, <laughs> that's what we're... Uh, yeah, shoot. So this was the start where we went <laughs> nationals. Um, contrarian Arizona, like Christian Walker, uh, Guriel. Let's do something like that. Let's do Christian Walker, Guriel, Moreno, or Suarez, something like that. I like Arizona more. I, it kind of scared me when you said you weren't doing it as much as the field because I was kind of on it. So it just felt it, it just felt like so overwhelmingly popular that it you know maybe it was boredom, but I was you know mm. ended up kind of getting away from it a little bit, but. Uh, I, I I like like the contrarian stuff with it, aka like Eugenio. Um, I really like Eugenio when when I do it though. Okay. Well, well, we will we will oblige. Oh shit! I gotta get back to it. Oh, I always put an A in front of Suarez. Dang it! Oh, we got it, baby. Mm. Did you? Oh wow! Never a doubt, man. Fastest fingers in the Pacific North. West. Um, we got an Otani Muncy start here. Let's put let's put Teo with it. Yeah, a lot of power in that bat of his. Yeah, man. I think a little bit of like this is kind of narrative based and anecdotal, but like a little bit of pressure off his shoulders in Seattle. No, know? yeah, he like, was definitely asked to like do a lot of the run, the you know the the run generation, you know the, the right. Off- they traded yeah. for him, hit in the middle of the lineup every single day. I mean, it's an it's a off park to hit in at the best of times. 
like I think he did have something outspoken about not liking the batter's eye and not seeing the ball well too. So like I don't know, maybe a tail bounce back. I should have had a little bit more. Um, yeah, spelling champ. Yeah, my spelling uh, is as good as my pronunciation right now, boys. We got a Westberg RBI. Oh, there Line you go. Drive up the middle. Um, was Kowser in the lineup today? I actually didn't look at the Baltimore lineup. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me find out for you as Cedric Mullins faces uh, Sandoval, which is a good thing that he's in the lineup if you were drafting him, which I was not. Uh, no Kowser today. Okay. Hey, speaking of Sandoval, did you see the Pablo Sandoval uh, send off? That was pretty cool. I actually didn't. I know that it happened, but I didn't see yeah. it. I thought it was very well done. It was uh, similar to like the what they did for Ichiro, where they went back to Japan and they, you know, I mean, obviously Ichiro, bigger name, bigger star, and it was part of a regular season game. But they did the same sort of thing, where like Chapman started the game, then they brought him out, gave him a standing O at third base. He was crying, and then he had a broken bat single. And then they took him out and, you know, gave him a send off again, like curtain call thing. Good guy. The pain. Pablo Sandoval, one of the, uh, one of the only guys with a, with a six run home run. What are you talking about? Th- that league that was in Dubai. <laughs> Did you ever hear about that? No. Um, let's take Scooball. I haven't been taking Scooball. I've been taking class now at nauseum. Let's take Scooball because you told me to. Mm-hmm. Um, Isak Paredes goes there. Let's do Chisholm and Berger again. Falling for that one. Well, Berger's going to be there. Let's do Chisholm. This was the Dodgers stack with Otani and Muncie. We'll do Chisholm and then... We'll do a scroll at starting pitcher uh, for you, Darvish. Haven't done a ton you of you, Darvish. Haven't There's done a ton a of you, Darvish today. Yeah, that's a good scroll. Yeah, a pitcher's tough because it's like you can put yourself way behind the eight ball by like getting over the field on certain ones or scrolling too far, etc. But like you can also set yourself up for like a differentiation of like a point or two when you are doing something chalky like Dodgers. So if you're doing something like a Dodgers stack, maybe just that extra point difference uh, that you Darvish gives you or Logan Webb gives you instead of Tariq Skubal or Castillo, who everyone's taking. Yeah, that's a, I think that's a good way to think about it. Um, Yeah. Like, like when you have, a lot of chalky pieces in a lineup. I mean, you got to deviate somewhere. Right. Um, ideally. And yeah, it can be a pitcher where, yeah, everybody's, if all those pitchers happen to fail and you have the one pitcher that wasn't taken and gets you those extra seven points, seven points in, in, in baseball matters a hell of a lot. Like we're, I mean, not all of us, but I think some of us still mm-hmm. coming, you know, hoops pilled where the scores <laughs> on a winning slate can be three times what they are in baseball. Do you remember that one Coors game that was like the highest baseball uh, winning score that we've like ever seen, and it was in the one sixties? Yeah, it was like the the um, um, Angels scored twenty seven runs at Coors or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and, and I think Otani had like no points. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> somehow. Yeah, it was something like that. I do recall. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so the margins, I mean, margins are thin in basketball just because, like, but they're, I mean, thin in baseball, too, in their own way. It's just event-based. Yeah. Let's, uh, that was a Teoscar Muncy, uh, Shohei, Darvish, Chisholm, Burger team. Don't hate it. No, not at all. I am. I'm completely. Got I'm pencils down, man. Your pencils down. All right, then you can help me finish our last one here. We have now maxed the Badge Bros Ball. We have maxed the Grand Slam. 
Uh, I did not play the sacrifice fly. Let's go ahead and try and fill this three bag Thursday. We are at 97%. I'm going to do two of these and that'll take us all the way up to the official lock of the full slate of opening day. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, Nez, uh, get, I, get, I, you, uh, get your absolute gallist of gal brains going right now. You should do like five crazy one-offs. Okay. Well, well, let's uh, let's do a three-one-one. Let's do a three-one-one. Right. Not even a two-one-one. Um, right. Okay, maybe a two-one-one-one. We could do something like that. Torque or Devers as the one-off. I'm Torque today. We do think Devers is a decent one-off, but I like Torque better as well. But Devers looks like. Decent. If you're just trying to shoot the moon on a home run on a one-off, he does not seem like the worst call. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Torque. Let's go. Devers. Let's go. Scroll the F down pitcher, and let's go a three stack or a two stack and a one-off, something like that, on one okay. of these teams. Okay. Um, okay. If you go on, if you check exposures on desktop as opposed to mobile, it'll show yeah. you like the raw number of different in like positions that you've taken. I've taken 71 different infielders. Wow. 58 different outfielders. My guy is scrolling. That is a shout out to you. I'm out here, man. I've got so I've got a long list of guys I've taken like once and an even longer list of guys I've taken only once or twice. Um all right. Torque with the second overall pick. Oh yeah. Let him know. Let them Let know them that know. we're coming. We came to scroll. Yeah. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Wow, Dark Sheep's saying he's got 75% Seeger today. Holy one shit. of the best hitters in baseball. Why not? Um, On the other team, Nez, do you have a suggestion for me? What are we doing on this one? Yeah, I'm asking you. Oh. Um, do you want to do, uh, do a Reds onslaught without Ellie? I've done lots of those, I think. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, let's take Gallon and figure it out. All right. Let's do. Let's do Cubs and someone. Okay. Uh, Maybe let's see here. Pirates. Who, who's nobody drafting? Colorado. Let's do Colorado. No, Not I took on the Gallon team. Yeah. Fuck me. Um, I mean, no one's really doing Royals. No one's doing athletics. Yeah. I, I, I like the athletics today, man. I don't, I'm going to need Bieber to show me that he's Shane Bieber again. Yeah. I mean, uh, just cause he's got like two more extra Clicks of velo when he's doing pull down drills at drive line hasn't sold me yet. No. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm absolutely not sold. Yeah. Okay. This was the torque at uh one team. Devers. Uh, we said Devers. Okay. Yep. Think of a, a scroll pitcher for that next one. And then this was the gallon one. Where we're we're swimming upstream here. We said okay. Colorado, Colorado. No, not Colorado, because Colorado. Um, you said A's and who? Yeah, you don't have to start. Um, oh yeah, we're starting A's. All right, Noda is Noda your favorite A today? Yeah. Oh yeah. Or G Law? No, I'm Noda. Okay. Noda's in there. Who's our scroll pitcher for the Devers Torque start? Uh, Mitch Keller. Web. Keller. Do Web. Okay. Do Web. Do Web. If you want to do Web. Let's do. Let's do. Let's do Web or Darvish. Which one do you prefer? You did Darvish already, so um. Okay, let's Web. I think people are forgetting that Web's a professional ass pitcher with a really good defense behind him. Yeah. In a good park to look at Web today. rules. Yeah. Breakout upside's not always there, but uh. He's someone that they might just say, screw it. He's he's like the pinnacle of health 
and mm-hmm. he's his velo isn't strong enough that like you got to worry about it and they could let him get a quality start not that they think about that but you know what i'm saying no 100 percent. yeah that's a good shout as one of those guys yeah like the that that fits the mold of like you know potential side candidate you know professional ass pitcher yeah uh, like, G- yeah establishing it g was our next pick yep even if you put in G E L, he's still at the bottom of the scroll. We are scrolling wow. so far that you can't even scroll to him when you type in his in the first three letters of his name. That's you really gotta unearth him. You gotta get the dirt off him and then get G Lop up. You're gonna be one of the few people with G Lop. Let's see if I've taken any G Lop yet today, John. I have two times. Two times. All right. He was hot in spring, baby. If we're playing the he was hot game. Um I've got I've got one full onslaught with Langoliers and Seth Brown in there too. Oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> oh, JJ Bladé is the other outfield. Uh, Brooker. Okay. Ramon Lariano. Uh, uh, Revenge game. Revenge game? <laughs> uh, okay. We got two A's so far. I'm going to suggest two contrarian outfielders here. The two, oh, the tool shit's already gone. Oh, no. Time to pivot. Time to pivot. Eli, um, going to take his buddy? No, 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 no. That, I wanted to stack it. Fuck, Nez. Rangers. Got, Ray, oh, my God. Who took Who took the tool shit already? Oh, no. I wasn't smart enough on the, on the fly. Okay, let's do it over here. Okay, here's our contrarian team. They're both going to be contrarian regardless, but like, uh, I wanted, I wanted a tool shed team. I wanted a tool yeah. shed with Eloy team. I've done it once already. I think maybe twice. Devastating, devastating. So what did we end up with there? Julio. All right. We got to do something oh. fun. Awful. I'm in shambles, boys. I'm in shambles here. Yeah, Awful. can we encapsulate one of Solaire's uh, 29 home runs this season on that team? That's it. That's he has. <laughs> he has a hard cap of 29. Man, we don't make the rules. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, Eloy there, and then do you want to do a third one-off with the Torkelson and Devers, or do you want to pick someone that goes into that stack? Mm, I think we should we should do another one off. Okay. This is Oakland with Gallon and Julio. Are we gonna do Hannah Goat and Cal Raleigh? Hmm. Mm. I think Cal Raleigh. Cal Raleigh or Ty okay. France, man. What do you think? Uh, I think France is going to be buried in the order. So yeah. let's do Cal Raleigh. Okay. Big dumper. Yeah. Rarely the drafted. Problem... I think we should do Hanniger because I think it'll connect the two. Yeah, that's fine. And build a three, build a three, two here. Or, oh, yeah, they did uh, Polanco. We could have done instead of Cal. We did Cal. We fin- filled all the outfield ones. Oh, Matty Boy with an absolute callback. The tool shed as in shed long. <laughs> shed long, former Mariner. Also yeah, a tool know, shed. For all we know, you made up the tool shed nickname. It's not. Um, no, no, no. It's, I have never once heard anybody refer to LBJ uh, as the tool shed. <laughs> The tool shed, baby. Okay, who is the last pick on this Torkelson team then, Nez? We're on the clock in both spots. Um, On the Torque team, it's got to be an outfielder? No, the other one has to be. could be anyone. This one has to be an outfielder, so I'm just taking Hanniger because it connects it and makes too much sense. All right. Uh, Any hitter on planet here. Earth. Go to, the, go to the Cubs. Cubs. Let's take Morel. Christopher Morel. Oh no, he's not an outfielder. No, it's fine. This is the okay, not okay, the outfield okay. team. The other one was the outfield team where we had to connect. Whew. 
I wanted to take take your boy. I wanted to give you someone that that you enjoy. All right, our last team for the daytime diamond. Or no, what was it? The three bagger Thursday. Logan Webb, Spencer Torkelson, Rafi Devers, Christopher Morrell, and then the mini stack uh, going against Scooball in Eloy in the tool shed. And then the other last one, the other last team was uh, a Mariner stack of Hanniger, Cal Raleigh, Julio with Noda and G Loff and love Zach that. Gallen. I love and Zach that. Gallen. That is the that's the late night hammer right there. If the late oh, night hammer man. is not the Colorado and Arizona game, the late night hammer guys you need three Mariners and two A's to close it off. What an absolute sweat for the last pick there. Wow. What there a there we go. What a slate, guys. This is gonna be a blast. I can't believe everything filled as quickly as it did. We still have that middle slate that kicks off at uh that closes at 6 16 so got got some got a few hours to get some drafts in while we watch these first uh wave of games so i'll be in there drafting of course beautiful um where was i looking here i was like the the gym teacher speed's gym teacher called kids called kids tool shed that he didn't like that's the greatest thing i ever heard the full name of calling someone a tool oh man that's so good um, all right. Baseball is dead is doing a watch party on the underdog MLB channel, which is U D M L B go ahead and watch alongside there. Sweat the games with them as we sweat the games for first pitch in, uh, about 10 minutes. Oh, this is what we have to do. Sean's right. We got to close with a pick em. We got to close with the play. The best plays pick em. All right. I would say just in a vacuum Nez, with the, with the pick em stuff. I was leaning by way of lowers on K's for guys that weren't like huge K upside guys, just because of um, you know, the way the, the the way opening day works is guys going, you know, four innings, not a third time through the order, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I was thinking that too. And then I took a lower on Corbin Burns six and a half, and uh he's got two in each inning so far. So <laughs> Things aren't looking too great there, but you got that Mookie, uh, that Mookie freebie. So we got to take okay. that. Okay. Okay. We will use the Mookie freebie uh, to go here. Yeah. GA doing the Lord's work. Nine minutes left to finish, fill the Badge Bros Brawls contest. Get in there and help us out, please. Um, we'll take the Mookie freebie. And then what else do you like uh, just in terms of MLB today? Nez, anything? What if we let's type in earned runs and try to like play that same vein of going lower on on earned runs on guys that we think will just like pitch well and like get pulled before things you know maybe get ugly on them. What do you think about that? Okay, give me an example here. Uh, let's see here. You Darvish against the Giants, two and a half earned runs allowed. What do you think? As a lower? Yeah. I like it. I mean, it's only a 0. 0.81, but... Yeah, a little bit of a dock, but... I think it makes sense. Okay. So the thesis of this is... the Are we doing the thesis... Are we just picking ones we like, or is the thesis that all these guys are going to have shortened outings, so we're just hitting a bunch of lowers? Because I would do the Josiah Gray higher and the Garrett Crochet higher. Well, let's do that then. Let's just do it. Okay. You know, like, like let, let, let's just you know play it fa at face value. Yeah. Okay, I like this. So we use the Mookie free square, the Darvish lower with a little bit of a dock. All of these games are at one so far, and then is there anyone else you want to add to this? Uh, maybe not to like earned runs, but let's, um, look at, I'm gonna look at total bases. Okay. See, see what we have on that front. And these are all like, they're, they're no longer like straight up anymore. Now we kind of have to take our pick. We probably missed out on a glory days of hitting a bunch of lowers there, but that's not how we like to play. We're, 
<laughs> we're not we're not we're not cowards. Um uh, I mean I know what I like. Yeah, that's your pick. The a lower on Javi Baez, one and a half total bases. Love it. Okay. Um should be a smarter way to do this. Javi Baez, lower on one and a half. So we're we're using two of the point eight ones. And we're using the free square. It only nets 13.8, but it, it feels good. Not it a does. full 20, not a full 20 Xer. No, but sometimes, you know, we'll 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 take some 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 gimmies. All right. I got a link there for that one. I'm gonna drop it in the chat. Make sure you guys get exactly what we got there. We got the Mookie Bets free square. You Darvish lower than two and a half earned runs. Garrett Crochet higher than one and a half. Josiah Gray higher than two and a half playing the hits with the Reds and uh, and Tiger stuff that we liked. And then Javi Baez uh, lower than one and a half total bases because the guy can't hit the broad side of the barn when he swings the bat. Easy enough. Yeah. Uh, Mo asking if we did any giant stacks. I was in a draft where Nez did a five person giant stack i did not do giant stacks today um i i think they're going to be more viable just because there's a little more pop in that lineup with uh Soler and such and they're not playing at home though petco is not a great place to hit either but i was just thinking that um with the new management that now they are more likely to do less pinch hitting so the giant stacks do seem more viable and we got the lineup pretty early didn't we like that it's like they used to always be a holdout team so that mm-hmm. was nice to see yeah yeah pretty interesting uh i, I yeah I, I i i like the giants because nobody's gonna take them and i like their lefties so it's really just gi- when giants get a righty um i really <laughs> like to stack the giants and that's that's evergreen for me love it dude um All right, let's tie a bow on it, man. Best of luck on opening day to you. Best of luck on opening day to the community. Um, I am away tomorrow. Um, We are doing uh, Easter weekend, stuff like that and whatnot. So we will be back on Monday, 100%. But Nez, do you think you will do uh, something uh, baseball and or hoops adjacent tomorrow for the paywall? Yeah, I'll have something on the paywall. I got to figure out what we want that to be, but um, we'll do we'll do some paywall content for sure, and we'll have a, a next a Nez takes post as well for for the slate. So we'll be we'll, we'll be pumping out content. Don't you worry, folks. We we won't starve you. Perfect. I uh, love it so much. Um, yeah, I think I think rolling with the with the themes of the baseball that would, that would feel good. Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, all right. Uh, just favor, hit that like, that subscribe, that notification before you bounce. If you are not playing on the platform of the people, aka Underdog Fantasy, use promo code MLB at sign up for 100% match deposit up to 100 USD. This should be a national holiday for everyone. Wow. James pointing out we got 1.99K followers. One more. Hit that subscribe, please, and thank you. You can be lucky 2K. And then consider joining up so you can access some behind the paywall content. Uh, primarily Nez doing it, but uh, now that it's baseball season and whatnot, I will be hopping in there as well. Uh, any parting words, Nez? No, I'll see you in these uh, middle slate lobbies, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, bright and early tomorrow as well. All right, everybody's favorite time of the show, the end. Peace. Good luck on opening day, my friends.